So the plan is the next stage is going to this old table, old planks. I'm going to convert into a vegetable bed and I'm going to make the bed from that cactus under the window all the way along up to more or less in line with the washing line. So along that area there is going to be a, a vegetable patch. It's very sunny so it's an ideal place to prepare and I'm going to be using that bench to make the make the vegetable patch. I'll show you how. Just to show you what I've been doing in the last little while, taken this old bath, put in great new soil, moved it and uh, can see what's happening and interesting enough the gem squash is the first ones that have been coming out here are the gem squash starting to come out so um, yeah things are slowly happening and this is uh, the rest of the veggie patch so slowly but surely um, that's a whole lot of mint in that pot and the tomato plants you can see in the one next door that little one there there that one tomato plants starting to come out but nothing is yet happening there all those trays and in the bath is kale I've planted loads of kale seeds uh, parsley is doing well thyme is okay and the chives are okay uh, that basil is not looking too healthy I think Sure, it's the right time now, Basil. But these other ones are slowly. We'll see what happens there. But anyway, that's it. So that area there, where you can see where the bench is, is where the uh, the new veggie patch is going to be, because the irrigation pipe runs along past the vines, runs all the way along there, so I can use the irrigation pipe to water. So the idea is always to be able to have. Uh, water with your veggie plants as you know if you don't water your veggies regularly they'll just die. I want to show you um, that's the frame so I've redone a new frame cut it etc so I've left the legs because I'm going to cut them off later because it'll be easier on here is going to be the the, um, the chicken wire chicken wire is going to go here and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut the legs a little bit shorter maybe cut the legs off around about here uh, all the way around so I could put a bit of netting over the top but ostensibly the chicken wire will prevent the moles or anything like that from coming underneath so the thing's pretty stable and it's all old planks that I've made from this, uh, these, this previous table that's it. So this is the chicken wire that you can see that I'm going to be using. Those are the hooks. Yeah, those are the hooks that will it's going to be nailed on the bottom all the way along. And then it's going to be turned upside down and the legs are going to be cut off to get the, the right height. So what you can see is put the uh, box against the wall where it's going to be. I've dug out the post pipe at the back and I've dug around the edge of the box now. So now I'm going to move the box and then I'm going to clean all the, the mess out and then cut the feet off and uh, ready. So we're getting there slowly but surely. So there's the box, you can see the green cable at the back is the hose pipe which I'm going to change to a black 
to a black special water pipe so I can put maybe one or two sprinklers into the pipe. So I've dug out underneath so there's no grass or anything underneath as you can see. You can see the, the mesh quite clearly underneath. And so there's no contaminated grass or anything underneath and I've cleared a nice spot around the front. So now it's a question of getting my bags of compost and uh, hoeing them in. So if I take you, those are the pieces I've sawn off, I take you to the rye area. You can see there are my six bags of compost. So that's what's going to go in there. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. So just to give you some quick feedback, there's another two bags of compost in here. Two there, these are going to go in here. And I'll see, and I've got another two bags there in case I need them. And then uh, I'm going to spread them around, dig them up a little bit, mix in with a bit of bone meal. And then uh, the bed's ready. And I wanted to show you how great my gem squash are doing. Remember, I transported this bath here. There's nothing in there yet, that's all cold. The whole thing is full of tail. These are gem squash here. This little thing coming up here. And if you can see it's tiny, there's something happening. And in there are tomatoes. Here is little tomato plants coming up. And but the great excitement, I've been watching these over the last week are my gem squash that I've planted. Look how great these doing. This is the first one that popped out and the others are coming out nicely. And then here in my ex-intrepid toilet, I had the brilliant idea. You can see there's something happening. Uh, they're starting to come out. Meanwhile, my, my mint plant that I got from Korea next door is doing really well. is coming. 